last game in the Dome to have that kind of performance tonight? It was unbelievable. Uh, that's the most fun I've ever had playing football, and I think uh, our team would probably attest to that. Um, it was a crazy week, an emotional week, um, uh, but guys were focused and ready to play and uh, played so hard, and that was fun to see. And uh, So obviously, we're, we're thrilled to move on. What did you tell uh, Coach Klein when coming off the field? Uh, just that I loved him and, and that I appreciated everything he had done for, for me and for our class and uh, this program. Um, it's a special place, and it's special because of people like him. And uh, shoot, we're so happy we get three more weeks with him. Quarterback running game more in play today? Yeah, definitely. Um, and we got beat up a little bit, and so I think that played into it. But um, you know, I wanted the ball in my hands, and, and coach kind of put it on me. Um, and uh, shoot, most of those yards were, were blocked for, and I was just falling forward. The offensive line did an unbelievable job tonight, and uh, it's so much fun to watch them just wear people down. Um, and uh, the backs and, and guys ran hard, but uh, we blocked unbelievably well tonight. When you see Bruce go out, Seth go out, Ty go out, what is going through your mind saying, I'm going to have to carry the ball? Yeah, down? well, we're fortunate because uh, we've got a lot of really good running backs, and you just throw at them in there, and uh, you don't miss a beat. So uh, we're really fortunate in that regard. But um, shoot, I was ready to run and, and uh, felt really good. Is it more fun running for a big day or passing for a big day? Shoot, as long as we win, uh, it really don't matter to me. Um, it, it was a blast today. I had so much fun playing. All our guys did. And um, however it was going to take today, whatever the game plan was going to be, um, it was going to be hard to beat us. Guys were motivated and, and ready to play. How big was that play by Seth to start the third quarter? Too? That's huge. I, I mean, you you take, you know, you defer and take the ball in the second half for a lot of reasons. But one of them is to go out there and score right away uh, with that first drive and uh, potentially steal one. And we were able to do that. And uh, to do it on a run like that was really fun and I think kind of set the tone for the second half. Just speaking of going to Texas, obviously very familiar with that. What's your mentality now going forward and, and thinking about going to Frisco? Yeah, we're thrilled. Uh, obviously, uh, been there before. And so we're comfortable with the routine. Uh, we know the routine. Uh, we know how, how much work needs to go into it uh, before we get on a plane and go down there. And so. Um, that was the message from coach and, and uh, the message to our guys was uh, we'll enjoy this one for a little bit but uh, when we get get here on Monday um, we'll be ready to go and, and we got to start working hard again. A 48 Wednesday tie brought Jensen for most in that sales history does, does that mean anything to you? Um, it, it'll be more mean a little bit more if, if we finish it the right way uh, and I think our team feels feels the same way um, it's it's pretty unbelievable uh, to think um, that there's two guys, and, and not two guys, but uh, two guys that they got to play the position, but the, the, this program has been so successful uh, for so long. And that's unbelievable, and it speaks to the, to the people here, um, to the community support that we get. The Dome was unbelievable tonight. That was so much fun to play, play in front of that uh, crazy crowd, and um, it just speaks to the amount of success and, and the amount of good people and good players that have been here. You've played in some pretty big games. Where does the atmosphere tonight rank? That's number one for me, for sure. Uh, for a lot of reasons, I think, obviously, being a senior and uh, the senior class, um, you know, the stuff going on with Coach and, and Coach Entz being named uh, the next head football coach here, it was an emotional week. Um, and I think the crowd uh, fed into that a little bit, too. And uh, they got us going, and, and we kind of rode with them uh, through four quarters. You said it was a crazy emotional week. It clearly didn't affect anything that was going on. Or did it? No. Wow. I, no. It, Definitely not negatively. If anything, it helped us. Uh, guys were motivated to go out there and, and play for Coach and uh, play for Coach Entz and um, just continue to, to, to push this program forward. And um, we're just really appreciative of, of the people that are here. And, and, and they challenge us every single day. And it's been that way since I stepped on campus. And um, you know we're, we're really thankful for them. You and Coach both said it's gonna be, it was going to be tough to beat the Bison today. When did that feeling kind of hit you guys? Um, you know, I think it. It started on Monday, obviously, with, with the announcement to coach. And, and we met as players and um, talked about having our best week as a Bison collectively. Well, whether you're a fifth-year guy or um, you know you got here in August, it, it was time to, to have your best week. And coach talks about being 1-0 and each day. And we took that mentality um, and just built upon it and, and stacked good day on good day. Um, and you know by, by Thursday afternoon, um, you could tell guys were focused and locked in. And, um, you know, we knew how crazy the crowd was going to be, and uh, we knew it would be tough today. You put your head down more, uh, a more fullback mentality today. It seemed like you were trying to drive a little, little harder today. Yeah, I, I think a little bit. Just knowing you got three weeks to recover, um, 
and you know we were going to give everybody was going to give everything they could to, to make sure we won this football game and um, it, it was a challenge um, uh, to play physical and to play hard and, and to do it for four quarters and um, I, you know I wanted to be a part of that. Coach Kleiman called you the best player in college football. What's your thoughts about that? Um, you know I just have so much appreciation uh, for, for, for Coach Kleiman. Um, he's had such an unbelievable impact on, on my life um, and uh, he'll be a, a father figure and a, and a friend and a mentor to me um, forever. And uh, sincerely uh, love that guy. Um, it's uh, it's special playing for him every day. Such an emotional week with everything going on. How do how do you carry that over without another game for three more weeks? Um, that's just the uh, it's the mentality of this program. Um, it's like that in the valley. You got to show up on Monday and get back to work because what you did the week before has no bearing on on what you'll do the next next game. And so uh, we'll enjoy this for a couple days, but we'll come back Monday Monday focused and learn who we're playing and, and dive right into a game plan. And like I said, there's a process and a plan that's been in place here to be successful, and uh, we'll just keep following that. Probably wouldn't believe you. Um, it's been an unbelievable, uh, you know, this is my fifth season. Uh, all of them have been unbelievable. I've had so much fun uh, playing, uh, wearing green and gold, and playing in front of these fans, playing for this community. Uh, we get unbelievable support, and um, you know, the amount of unbelievable relationships that I've met, uh, made here, and guys that'll be friends for a lifetime. Uh, this place is special, and uh, just really, really thankful to be a part of it. Thank you, Ethan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.